Hey everyone, Spoofy here, and welcome back to Glowing Fox. It's like it's Firefox Developer Edition with like the blue glow. No, anyone, anyone recognize this side? Anyway, last episode we started the Kurzoki Pale. Now we continue this dreaded place. Oh hi, I'm gonna take care of him real quick. As I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Uh, we're doing puzzle stuff in the Kurzoa place. This is gonna take a bit. Or, or not. I mean, I don't, I don't really know exactly what I gotta do here. So, uh, <laughs> bear with me. Okay, that's a thing that I don't have yet. I'm dreading that segment, in fact. Some parts of this game are just straight up, just pain and suffering. And then some parts of this game are just like, yeah, this is this is happening to me. It's okay. I can live with it. This game, it happens to you. Need a better description than that? No, that's the review. Official review. Star Fox Adventures. Review by Spoofy Dudes. It happens to you. Do I need to be in this pit? No, I don't. Okay. Well, um, m meet meet you when when I'm doing things. Do I just need to jump in this? No. I've went all the way around down here, so I guess I'll drop a level. What? Oh, the middle one sends me higher. Oh. Oh. The wind is got hey. Oh, there's all kinds of bullshit happening around me. Whoa, and I'm doing some cool bullshit. Yeah, yeah, spin it. Don't know exactly how I did that. I think if you just pull back. This isn't power off to take me anywhere. Um. Assuming I go over there where the green is. I'm just gonna follow green for go, because it's the best I have up to really put my uh, player skills to. It's yellow, so whatever. Well, but it was right. Green, yellow, whatever. And here we are up here, out on the top of the Kuzoa Palace. Now, if any of you people with any bit of memory can remember from first episode, uh, this is where they kind of tie together the two basically different games. Yep. There she is. There's Crystal. Wow. She's beautiful. Oh, this cutscene. <laughs> Whoa. A Crystal spirit. But how do I get mine in there? Somehow. Oh, you just ask and it just pops out. Why is there sexy jazz playing? Fox, what are you doing? Fox, what are you doing? <laughs> what a... What a thumbnail! Uh, oh my god, the, the last few notes! The cutscene's great. Uh, see, that's what gets me through the first part of the game. That cutscene. Uh, Alright. Let us get on our knees and suffer. Yes. Four times. I like the noises that the spirits make. It's interesting. Twice we've had that pose in the episodes. The fuck? All right. Oh, we're being sent back. Okay, game. I guess if that's how you want to be played, we're back. 
It popped up on his ice mountain hand though, so I guess his hands aren't really. Oh. Yeah, that's what he's supposed to do. You've been keeping shit back from me? Oh crap, is that what I think it is? More money, more money, more money in a bag. Well, more bugs in a bag, but... Uh, what the fuck? Okay, I don't need to do that. But thank you. I know where I need to go. I know where I need to go. And where I need to go is to make lots of money real quick. So I guess now would be as good as any time to show off where uh, the hidden money is in the shop. So you come in through the entrance, you turn left or right, you go through these doors. Alright, you come down, you come down. You see this wall right here? Walk. And then you lift up the rock. And you will get a ridiculous amount of money. That's like 30 right there. That put me basically at my goal. So I'll see... Oh. Oh, hold up. More money. Okay, I'll see you where I need to be. Okay, so it's this way, down this little path here. Which, a few episodes ago, when you saw uh, Real Fox, that's where I actually went. For an extended amount of your time. Ooh, another one of these buffoon deeds. So now I have two lives on me, so that should, that should be more lives than I need for the rest of the game. Sleeping dinos are sleeping. So... We gotta go through this like, it's not really a maze, it's more of just like, bad design of hallways. But like, not from a game standpoint, because that's like, whatever, but like, from like a dinosaur standpoint. Like, most of these passageways are not built for dinos, so they just can't like, things are just built off. I guess it's probably why the shark claws can kind of just take over as they please. Um, considering that Dinosaurs can't really go down these fast. Well, they could do this one, I guess. But then we see how Cape Claw is actually connected from, well, at least the path I take. Not, not so, not so easy for uh, dinos. That's not gonna be a fun episode. That's a mini, mini moons kind of thing. Up. Oh. Alright, so we collected all that money for this guy. I'm gonna give it scarabs to enter Cape Claw, which is the which is the seaside that I was told to go to. Sorry, bump the table there, fellas. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. You enjoy my money. Is this the actual maze? Okay, this is where the map would have come useful. But I don't think I have a map for this segment. I don't think you're even allowed to use a map in this segment, are you? Let's find out. I don't have map data for this point. So we kind of just have to blunder through it blindly. Ah. The thing makes such a fucking satisfying smack noise when it hits me in the face. Squishy and sounds good. S sounds stock, but it's a good stock sound effect, I'd say. Uh, no progress was made. So I'm guessing it's this path. I did it, guys! I'm not gonna really cut out much of that, because. Eh? Yeah, I'm only 10, 10, like, 6 minutes into the episode or something. I don't know. Not super far. So now we come down here to what, as a place, as a kid, highly confused me. But for one main reason, I overexplored it. Because it turns out 90% of this little area, from my memory at least, doesn't really have anything useful in it. I could go down there and check, but I could also just leave. 
I'll check on my way out of this place if there's anything important here. You know, when I'm just like supposed to transitioning. Hmm. Letters. A lot of letters in this game. Tricky's gone again? Nope, he's there. Good boy, Tricky. Turn my TV volume up there a bit and took off the headphones because I realized I don't need headphones on because uh, I'm not actually listening to any of the audio on the PC written, you know. Holy freak, that's a big guy. I think I fought guys this big already, but this guy looks a little bit larger than them. But the ice trick takes him down in one fell swoop, and then I get 90% of my magic back from that. Cutscene? Oh, someone's in the cage. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You all should be getting chills too. For some of the worst episodes to come are upon us. The worst area of the game. For the most part. Ugh. Flashbacks. Not the good kind. I've said some of these parts have been bad, but like... What? Angry Dino? Angry Dino. Let's go see- let's go say hi to the Angry Dino. Or, let's check out what's over here, actually. I hate you with my entire being. Actual hatred. Actual hatred. But yeah, let's go let's go investigate the uh that one dino. I could have paid to get up here through that guy over there or you could just use a little bit of magic and kind of just launch yourself up here and not pay and magic is plentiful because it grows literally on plants hey bruh when I heard the shop were coming to Cape Claw, yeah I hid my precious gold deep below the sand oh Oh no, dude. Dude, no problem, bro. I got you. I I I know the Oh. All right. Yeah, bro. Dude, dude, I get it. I get it. I feel for you. This is fine. Collect some gold. Not bad. Not a bad thing. I'm okay with this. This is petting I like. Cuz it it's encouraging you it's not like stupid padding, it's like encouraging you to explore this really nice area that they've built for you. It's pretty. And uh, it does the job well of uh, letting you explore this nice little beach with all these little assholes on the shore. There's a lot of those jerks on the shore, but they're just part of the scenery. And you can ignore them pretty easily if you just kind of keep on the move. So, uh, I think one of the gold is right here. There's a lot of false sand pits that just have other random shit in them. As you saw, one had a fuel cell, one had a live, and one has a gold bar. <clears throat> There's, I believe, three or four gold bars. Yep. Coming up on this shore right here. Gonna take this guy down like a pro! Ow! Fuck, he hits hard. I think. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to my health. This is not a thing I do in this game. I mean, 
<clears throat> maybe if I, you know, didn't have all those lives and whatnot, I might try with my care about my health a little bit more. Oh, hey, it didn't play a cutscene for me again when I collected an item that I've already known about again. Flame. Burn it all to hell, Tricky. Oh. Did that guy just fall over? You fell over. You fell over. He fell over. That was hilarious. Uh, dig here under what? Oh, oh. Okay. So am I. I'm gonna eat after this episode. Do it. Oh. There was only three, so back to the dino. Here you go, buddy. Here's your gold. You gonna tell me something, bro? With the help of your little friends, you should be There's another? Oh, dude, where? Dude, cheeky, hiding under a box. Last place I would have looked, really. Oh, there we go. There's the ding. There's the ding. The last piece. There you go. It's all been collected. What you doing? Now that ladder's been dropped. And with that ladder being dropped, I am done with this episode. So in the next part, we will go up to where that switch is, unlock that switch, and go save the crying lady bird. That I don't actually want to save, but I must save her to continue this game. Alright, bye.